G'day and welcome to the 24-25 Game Day Squad Fantasy Cricket Show. I'm Dill, that's Stu, and together we're the Fantasy Bros. This summer, we've partnered with the Game Day Squad to bring you all you need to know to succeed in this season's Australian Cricket Comp. Where there are some fa fantastic prizes on offer, cash and maybe something else on the side, who knows? Stewie, what can we, uh, our viewers expect from us this preseason? G'day mate, yep, that time of the year again. Rugby league season is well and truly done. Look, the American sports are heating up, but our attention turns to what we love most, and that's the summer of cricket. We've got a test series against India underway, uh, but more importantly, the GDS Australia cricket competition is just around the corner, and it begins on December the 15th. Look, across the next eight uh, pre-season episodes, we'll be previewing all eight Big Bash teams. We'll let you know their likely 11s, their ins and outs from last season. Uh, we'll let you know who the must-haves are for the bat, the bowl, and the all-rounder position. We'll have a look at some breakout and MVP candidates. And I believe there's also going to be a pretty exciting pack opening competition where our viewers can win some pretty special prizes. Yes, you do not want to miss that, so stay tuned. Also, for any of our new users who have not signed up before, you still have plenty of time. Jump onto GDS. You can play Oz Cricket this season and score yourself a free three-player rare pack simply by registering and using the promo code FBAC24. Now, before we jump into the preview, preview show, we also have one more special giveaway. We have the top-scoring GDS player in Oz Cricket 23-24 season, and that is Matt Short of the Adelaide Strikers. Not only that, we have his diamond card up for grabs. That is huge. And all you have to do to enter is comment your game day squad Oz Cricket squad name on any and all of our 11 preseason videos. Every comment is one entry into the draw. That means you can have up to 11 entries into this massive giveaway. We'll draw uh, the winner out during our live round one preview show, just in time to slot that diamond match short into your all-rounder spot, ready for round one. Uh, and hopefully you might win a few prizes for him. Uh, all right, let's get straight into the first team preview. That is the Melbourne Renegades. Uh, so let's have a look at their ins and outs. The first uh, couple of things we're, we're going to jump in and have a look at. So Josh Brown is the first big signing, I guess, from the, the Brisbane Heat. They've also got uh, Gurinda Sandu from the, the Thunder, Laurie Evans from Perth Scorchers, Jacob Bethel uh, over from England, and then Tim Seifert from New Zealand. Uh, the outs, obviously, we saw uh, Sean Marsh and Aaron Finch both retire at the end of uh, last season. Nick Maddinson's jumped over to the Thunder. Joe Clark uh, is out of that team, and we'll, we'll talk about it a bit later in the Stars lineup. Uh, Quinton de Kock has also left. Majib Rahman uh, and Akil Hussein uh, has gone over to the Sixers. In terms of their likely 11 then for round one, uh, we can see probably their openers are going to be Brown and Seifert. Uh, there's also an opportunity there for Fraser McGurk to maybe jump into that uh, that opening spot, which we saw in the Indian cricket comp, as well as some of the T20s uh, earlier in the year. Uh, then four, five, six, we've got Evans, Harvey and Wells. Sutherland comes in at seven. He is their captain. Uh, I believe they just signed, uh, just named him as captain not too long ago. Uh, then we've got to round out the team, Rogers, O'Neill, Richardson and Zampa to make up the 11. Mate, is there any notes or uh, injuries that we need to be concerned about with that with that team? Yeah, you mentioned uh, Jacob Bethel earlier as an, a big in uh, for the Renegades, and, and that's true. But we probably won't see him until maybe the round four uh, double game when the Ren Renegades play twice in that round. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because mm -hmm. he's currently on test duty for the England squad. Um, that'll probably make uh, probably see John O'Wells make way in that middle order, and um, I yeah. think Jacob Bethel's going to be a star. Uh, the other one is that new skip, Will Sutherland. I think it came out today, actually, that he's dealing with a bit of a side strain. Uh, he said himself that he should be right for the start of the Big Bash, um, and he'll look to do some bowling in, in the nets in the lead-up and then in some of the practice games as well, but something to look out for as well. Yeah, definitely keep your eyes on uh, everything GDS, Discord, YouTube, uh, and Instagram for all the latest news as well. All right, let's jump into our must-have. So as we said at the top of the show, we are going to look at uh, one batter or wicketkeeper, uh, bowler and all-rounder that you simply must have in your GDS lineups this season. Stu, who have you got as the bat must-have for the Renegades? Yeah, mate, the bat must-have is that big signing from the Brisbane Heat. It's none other than Josh Brown. Look, if he can show some glimpse, glimpses of what he showed last season, um, that legend that's currently sitting on the game day squad marketplace may be swooped up pretty quickly. Uh, Brown averaged 56 points last year, opening the batting for the Heat, but it was that remarkable 140 from 57 in that qualifying final 
that proves just how damaging he can be. He blasted 12 sixes on that night. And um, look, he'll, he'll be in my lineup fairly often. But if he's not, I'll probably find myself watching from behind the couch uh, if he's out of my lineup. Yeah, yeah, that would be scary. Uh, in terms of bowlers, the gays are a bit thin uh, at the bowling position, I think, this year. So I'd be looking at uh, probably Tom Rogers to, to top the bowling figures again this season. He finished the 23-24 season with eight wickets across eight games. So it's a, it's a pretty good average to be looking at one wicket per game. He also added 45 runs uh, and then a couple of catches as well to boost his average uh, GDS score to 34.57. Um, out of the bowlers backing up in the 24-25 season, that actually has him ranked 12th overall. So I'd probably be looking at him uh, if maybe that double game week uh, is enticing. You might want to chuck him into your lineup. Awesome. Yeah, another one we'll look to chuck into our lineup is, of course, uh, that new skip, the all-rounder, Will Sutherland. He, uh, he made his one-day international debut for the Aussies earlier this year, and he performed quite well. He took two for 28 on debut, and across his eight GDS uh, Oz cricket games last season, he averaged a, a respectable 42.2 GDS points. He scored some decent runs with the bat, but he only took seven wickets. Now, hopefully he recovers from that side strain, um, and I expect him to have a greater role with the ball this year. I, I think he'll definitely take more than seven wickets. Uh, so he's a great option for that all-rounder spot, given his power hitting and, uh, yeah, probably an increase in the wicket column as well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, like you said, hopefully he recovers pretty quick and we can get him bowling. Uh, into the breakouts now, I've, I've gone a new recruit. Um, so, I mean, he's got every chance to be a breakout, and that's Tim Seifert or Bam Bam, uh, as he's aptly known. He could be poised for a massive breakout uh, this season. He's a 29-year-old Kiwi keeper, and he's been a gun for hire across five different uh, T20 comps around the world over the last 10 years. Uh, his latest stint was in the CPL, where he helped guide the St. Lucia Kings to a championship. And then prior to that, he played uh, for the Marvels over in the LPL and narrowly missed out on another championship. I think they uh, went down by a few runs in that final. So across those two T20 comps, Seifert played 22 games and he finished with a batting average of 29.8, um, as, well as well as taking 10 catches. So I think you can easily uh, see him having a massive season for the Renegades. How did I know you were going to pick a Kiwi for your <laughs> breakout player? Mate. <laughs> Love All it. right. Um, yeah. So for my MVP, look, I'm going to go with Jake Fraser McGurk. Um, he made a name for himself, obviously, last season when he broke AB de Villiers' record for the fastest list A century. That was 100 off just 29 balls against Tassie. His explosive batting saw him hit three half centuries and 44.5 GDS points last season. Um, but Look, he struggled a little bit recently, particularly against Pakistan in those T20s. And I think he actually failed to survive past the fourth over, which is, you know, a little bit worrying. Um, but I'm sure he'll he'll reflect on those performances. And if the Gades are to do any well this year, it's probably going to be on the back of him and um, Josh Brown to get them off to a flyer. So I'm going to back him to turn his form around and have a massive one for the Renegades. Yeah, and I think hopefully that, that third spot there, um, first drop might be a really good position for him to just get some form True. back and, yeah, and, and get, you know, battle through a few of those overs and, and get some runs on the board. So I like it. I like it a lot. So there you go. There's our uh, must have bat, bowl, all rounder. We've got a breakout and an MVP for the Renegades. But now it's on to our favorite part of the episode. We teased it at the start but we're going to have a massive giveaway for you. So we've got a bit of a game. We will be opening uh, one three-player rare pack as well as one three-player unique. And if any Renegades players are pulled, they will go straight into the giveaway pool. To add to the excitement, if no Renegades are packed at all, all three cards will go into that pool as well. So something oh. a little bit extra. So either we're looking for Renegades or none at all. Uh, so to enter that giveaway, you have a chance at winning any of those cards that are pulled. Uh, you just need to subscribe to the Game Day Squad's YouTube page, like this video, and then comment who your breakout and MVP Renegades players are for the 24-25 season. Stu, you're up first, and it looks like you've got the rare pack. So let's uh, jump into that pack and see whether we've got any Renegades at all. All right. You should be able to see on my screen uh, the pack that I've pre-opened. Obviously, I haven't revealed the cards, but... Uh, just to get things rolling a little bit. So just a reminder, we're looking for Renegades cards. They'll be in the player pool. Or if there are no Renegades cards, then all three will be in that player pool for the giveaway. All right. All right. Let's flip that. We'll go from line. left to right. Gold. <laughs> first up, you got to love that. It is Josh uh, Brown. Exactly what we were looking for. We've spoken Perfect. about him. A gold Josh Brown. So there's one straight into that, that uh, giveaway pool. Let's get the second one going. 
Okay, okay. not a renegade. Not a renegade, Ooh. that's okay. Well, we've got something special here, maybe. Platinum. Ooh, Platinum Aussie. So, well, hey, we've got one renegade. So, one from one pack. Unreal start. We've still got a unique to come. So, let's uh, jump over now to the unique pack and let's see what we get from this one. And All just right, quickly on that as top. well. Sorry, just on that, we've got, remember, yeah. we got the four competitions for GDS as well. So those gold cards will come in handy, as will the bronzes, Definitely. but so will these platinums and, and hopefully some uniques as well. Let's go, Renegades. Definitely. All righty, let's start with the top here. We've got Tom Rogers, Platinum Tom Rogers. Ooh, a Platinum Bo Webster. Ooh, oh, this a is diamond a diamond. Here. here we go. Oh, Matty Wade. Okay. Hey, that's three really good cards. Um, and they all go into the play pool because no Renegades pulled. Although no Renegades, Tom Rogers so... plays for the Renegades, doesn't he? <laughs> Wrong Tom Rogers. I love it. Oh, I love okay. it. All yeah. three of those cards are going into the pool. So we've got straight away off the bat four cards up for grabs. Uh, we will be looking at drawing those again with that match short diamond as well. So we've got plenty of giveaways happening uh, and we'll be we'll be drawing those in our first live uh, round one preview. Uh, probably an hour or so before the first ball being bowled of the competition. So a reminder as well for new users, jump on board, sign up now, use that, that promo code FBAC24. You get a free three player rare. And as you can see, you might even uh, pull a, a platinum or potentially even there's a chance for a legend in there as well. There's plenty of legends still on the board. Don't forget as well, we've got that Unreal Matt Short Diamond giveaway. Just enter uh, by commenting on any and all of our videos. Uh, that's 11 massive entries for you, as well as that, those uh, player pool giveaways that we'll do throughout the season. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Look forward to uh, catching up with you for the next preview. I believe we might have a Sydney team coming up next. So we will uh, see you soon. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure, Dil. See you guys. Yeah.